What's going on, everybody? This is A to Z Sports Cars back at it. Today is Tuesday, and we have a beautiful box of top box of Topps Heritage. I'm so excited! I'm messing up my words already. So we have a beautiful box of Topps Heritage. We're looking for a real one autograph. I'm sorry, look for a real one autographs. Um, oh, I guess the real one must be a series and a relic. So hopefully we can get an auto. We got a nice Christian Pache, Key Brian Hayes. He's really what we're looking for. A really big rookie in there. And a nice Troy Tulowitzki auto. So we're looking for the autos. What can we get? So we have 138 trading cards, nine cards per pack. Here we go. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. We're almost to 60. It's crazy. Uh, we've I think it's almost close to a year since we started up. I think we started up of May, May of last year, sometime like that. But it's been a really fun time. Love opening boxes for you guys. Pull some great stuff over the year, and hopefully we can finish strong. So let's take a look. So we have 15 packs, an extra exclusive pack, Chrome cards in it. Let me get these out. Oh. Look at this little mega box. Beautiful packaging. Get that box out of the way. Beautiful pack. This is it. It feels more like a hobby box to me. It really does. All these packs. Uh, and we got this for forty-five bucks at Walmart a couple weeks back. I've been super excited to open these up. And let's just see what we can get. So first pack magic. Let's look for an auto. Some of the key rookies I would like to get probably Christian Pache, uh, Key Brian Hayes, like I said. Uh, Casey Mize, um, Joey Barr, um, Mount Castle, tons of those guys. So let's see. So, beautiful cards there. That is nice design. What design is that? Is that 72? Is it? I don't know. It looks like it. Maybe a little bit. I can't really tell. But that's the back for anyone who hasn't seen this out. It's been out for a while, so probably seen it. But new to me. So we have a nice. Javier Baez are not off in this pack. So Javier Baez, Lucas Galilito, John Verde, strikeout leaders, Jacob DeGrom, Trevor Bauer. And there he is. So <laughs> uh, before we look at him, I skipped over this real quick. I don't know what this is, some bubblegum thing. But we got nice Joey Bart right there. So in action, Joey Bart rookie card. So that's going to be off on the side. That's a beautiful looking card. Awesome. We also got a Christian Pache in action card too from the card show last weekend. Well, yeah, last weekend. So make sure you go check out that video. That was a really fun time. So nice. Joey Barf. So first rookie, one of the big name guys I like. So we got Bo Bichette. Fernando Tatis. That's an awesome looking card. So I'll pull that one off to the side too. And then we have Chris Bassett. I think I pronounced his name. So awesome looking cards. We already got Joey Bart. Really cool to see. Let's see if we can get a clean sweep of all the rookies. It is one of the inserts, so it's not as regular base, but it's still kind of nice. So we have Ryan McBroom, starting off this pack. Framer Valdez, that's how you pronounce his name. Chad Hall, in action, Gliber Torres. New Age Performers of Casey Mize. Wow, New Age Performer. So is that, that might be the, uh, no, that's not the a real one, but Casey Mize, one of the guys I was looking to get too. Awesome. Beautiful card there. There is a print line you can see. Maybe a nice scratch on the card right near his uh, chin, mouth area. So that's not that awesome, but still, Casey Mize rookie card. Then we have a nice Mike Trout in action. Beautiful card there. Alec Mills. Steve Solez. Sawas, Sauza Jr. She's and Max Scherzer. So if you've been around for with the channel for a while, you know I butcher all the baseball players' names. It's just something I can't I can never pronounce them right. It doesn't matter if they're all stars or what I just pronounce all their names wrong. All these packs look oh, we got a nice blue shiny parallel on the back. So hopefully maybe that's a rookie card. That'd be cool to see. We have Jeff McNeil starting off this pack. Brian Anderson. Ryan McMahon, in action Kyle Schwarber, Jorge Polanco, we have a Jesus Sanchez, rookie card, cool, we have a Kelton Juan, Tommy Edmond, we have a rookie card 
of Luis Diaz, Monte Harrison, and Nick Niedert. The entire front's name. And let's look at this blue parallel card. So it is, oh, it's a rookie last year for the Mariners. Is it Kyle Lewis? It is Kyle Lewis. Wow, that is a beautiful looking card. Let me just get these two uh, rookies out of the way. Let's take a real close look at that card. That's a fantastic looking card, Kyle Lewis. So if, if you don't remember, we pulled a Kyle Lewis auto a couple months back out of Stadium Club. So this is a beautiful looking card. Check that out. Is it numbered anything? No, it's not really numbered. Uh, I don't know what the run is. I'll have to take a look. But that's a beautiful looking card. Look at that shine. Awesome. Perfectly in center. Great looking card there. Wow. I'll put that right on the uh, tattoo. So that might make it to the best top five of our box. So that's awesome. That's a beautiful looking card. But can't stick on it for too long. We have to move on. Super excited to open these up. I had these for this box for a couple weeks. Just sitting in my basement ready for us to open up. See what we can get. Looking for that key Brian Hayes. So we have a Ronald Guzman again, Josh Bell for the Pirates, DJ LeMayhew, Chris Paddock. Hey, okay, there he is, a nice key Brian Hayes in action. So we say it and we get it. So can we get a nice one of one in the next pack? Hopefully that comes true. So nice key Brian Hayes. I'll take a look at that after this pack. So we have Yadier Molina in action, Matt Chapman, Jesse Winker, and a Pete Fairbanks. So those are the base. But we got the man himself, Key Brian Hayes. Really big on this guy. I think he was front runner for rookie of the year this year. So that's awesome. Awesome looking card there. Wow. I'm just going to put that right in the rookie pile. Going to sleeve up some of my favorite rookies at the end after the video. Make sure to get in their uh, top loaders and their penny sleeves. But that's a beautiful looking card. Awesome. We are getting everybody. Maybe Joe Adele will show up next. Who knows? We still haven't got a Christian Pache. So we have a Julio Tehran. I think I pronounced his name. Howie Kendrick. Adam Wainwright for the Cardinals. Luis Severino. And in action, Nate Pearson. So we got a rookie card in that pack. And in action, Jose Barrios. Zach Davies. We have, hey, did I just call Joe Adele again? Wow. Joe Adele and Nick Mad, is it Madrigal. I almost picked up his auto uh, over the weekend, but it was him, Russell Westbrook, and I think Tony Romo in a, in a lot. And he was like, I want 100 for it. There were the three, and I just, he, he, he just rode me the wrong way. He was checking prices up on eBay. I hate seeing that. I mean, know your stuff. Maybe make me a deal, but. Anyways, that was last weekend, but I said it, and we got it. We got a nice Joe Adele and Nick Madrigal. So, super nice rookie card there. And uh, Nick Castel, Castel, I think it's Castellanos. Castellanos, we'll go with that. But another solid rookie card. So, I purchased a couple of rookie cards in our mail date that we will have next week. I got tons of mail. Oh, just dropping a pack. Hopefully, there's no auto in that. No one of one. But I purchased... Uh, a lot of Heritage rookie cards, and now a couple of them were run, so I might have some repeats. So they'll go back up on my Mercari. But that was an awesome to find. So I don't know who else. Who else could we get? Um, I Joe Dell was there. I I have no idea. So I guess I don't know. Uh, maybe a Key Brian Hayes actual base. I don't know. Not in action. But super nice card there. Got to go through all the rookies at the end and look for my top five. That Kyle Lewis is just staring at me. He's fantastic looking. So we got a nice Mitch Moreland for the Padres, Eloy Jimenez, Lucas Sims, and in action, Nolan Arenado, a Jurickson Profar, I think that's how I pronounce his name. Yeah, hey, Christian Pache in action. I think that's the same card I picked up at the card show for two bucks. So beautiful card there, very well centered, corners are fantastic. So we'll just add that to the collection. So make sure you check out my Mercari. A lot of these cards are going up on that page. We have a Jose Barrios, Archie Bradley, and a Mike Sorka. Tons of good stuff. Last pack on the left side. Really appreciate you guys dropping by to look at some cards. These cards are fantastic. I need to get to Walmart again pretty soon. Uh, 
uh, just with my schedule of work, getting there at 6 o'clock in the morning just to wait in line is not um, really that important. So I just got to hopefully next day off get there. We have a Josh Lindbom, Lindbom, Ketel Marte. We have a Jesus Lazardo. Nice boyhood photos picture. Hunter Dozer. Franimal. Franimal Reyes. Cool card there. Pete Alonzo boyhood photos. We still have yet to get a patch or an auto, so they could be making their way eventually. Yu Darvish. Nice 2020 NL pitching leaders. Then we have a Nathan Evdoli. Evdoli. And a Abraham Toro. We also pulled his auto out of Stadium Club. So, no rookie in that pack. We did get a leader's card, but nothing too crazy there. They can't all be studs. So, a couple more packs to go. We got more one right side left. So, first pack on the right side. We have a Chance Cisco. Matt Kemp. Oh, we got another blue sparkle parallel. Coming up, hopefully that's maybe I don't know if they do autoed versions of that. That'd be kind of cool. We have a 2020 World Series Game Six car with Mookie on the front, and then we have a Kiebert Ruiz, Ruiz, sorry Ruiz, Kiebert Ruiz, and a Mitch White. It's a nice rookie card there. And then we have and then and now of Dick Allen and Jose Abreu. Don't really know who Dick Allen is. Um, doesn't really pop up anywhere in my brain anything about him. But that's kind of cool. Jose Abreu powerhouse. Then we have a Brandon Workman, Pablo Lopez, Nolan Ar 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 Arenado, where I picked him up. And then we have an Antonio Senzatella. So let's see what our blue parallel is going to be. It's going to be a athlete, so an athletic. So he's from the athletics. Oh, it's Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman. That's kind of crazy. Nice card there. Not as good as our Kyle Lewis, but still, Matt Chapman, solid player. He was all, I think he was not an all-star last year, but he was I think an all-star maybe in 2018. I'm not sure, but solid player. Good. Nice job there. So we got two of those blue parallels. And we did get a rookie in that pack with uh, Mitch White and uh, Ruiz. Next pack. Thursday we'll end up opening that Don Russ pack. I'm looking for some cool variations and uh maybe some short print cards donruss isn't the biggest baseball product definitely uh top brand stuff like heritage uh top series one two update chrome those are the big ones but donruss is still nice to open just so they look they just don't have the licensing that's why all the donruss cards don't have any logo from the mlb on there but still cool cards next pack we got tommy La stella starting us off jose Quintana. Alex Verdugo. I was, I'm was. i a big fan of him. Big fan. He's playing very well. We have a Miguel Rojas. We have a boyhood photo of stars of Whit Merrifield. Of the stars. <laughs> Max Kepler in action. Then we have a Miguel Castro. Miguel Andujar. And then Jake Cave. So no rookies in that pack. None that I remember. I'll look through at the end of all the cards. Make sure I'm not missing any short prints or any variations. Oh, boy, so Boyhood Stars ones are cool, but not as cool as the, uh, definitely that, like, sapphire-looking pack. Or sapphire-looking cards. Kyle Lewis, who would have thought? Jose Abreu leading off this pack. Joe Kelly, Joe Kelly Fight Club. Traded from Boston to the Dodgers. Victor Reyes in this pack. We have a Joey Votto in action. J.D. Martinez. Good player for Boston there. Tim Anderson. He had a, I think he had a multi-home run game the other night. Miles Straw. Justin Turner. And Lane Thomas. So tons of Boston and Dodgers players showing up. On to the next pack. We got about one, two, three, four, five packs left, including this one. See where I'm throwing all my garbage. I have to get a lot of cleaning done. Got a lot of loose cards. Need to go buy a, like a 3,000 or 5,000 count box. We have, I don't know if it's thick yet. We have a Noah Cindergard, Dallas Keuchel for the uh, White Sox. 
in action of Mike Yastrzemski. So we might have gotten all our rookies in the first, uh, in that first left side. I haven't we haven't had any real rookies in this right side yet? Kenta Maeda, Matt Davidson, hey Casey Mize again. So this card's a little off center from left to right, but nothing too crazy. Definitely the right side's uh, a little thicker than the left. But it's a nice Casey Mize rookie card. I can't get enough of this guy. So I think we got. That and another variation, but still awesome, awesome looking card. We have a Donovan Solano, Seth Lugo, and a Luis Areas. Four more packs left. We've yet to get a auto or our patch card. See our relic. So let's see if it's showing up in this pack. They all look pretty similar in size, so maybe we can get an auto. That'd be really nice. We have a Tyler Mall. Male, Mal, I don't know. Trevor May for the Twins. Juan Soto, and guy's just a kid and he's a stud. Fantastic, great looking card. We have a 2020 NL postseason for Tatis. One of the better players in baseball. Future face that runs the place. Danny Duffy for the Royals. We have an Anthony Rizzo in action. There we have the Kyle Lewis, so the non- I'll show you the non-Sapphire uh, version, I guess we'll call it. We have Liam Hendricks and a Brandon Belt. So we have the regular base and, like, the Sapphire variation of it. So that's awesome. So let's take a look at those two lined up. So just cool variation. Very nice. If I can just get in focus. Uh, let's see if we can flip-flop. Yeah, there we go. That focused a lot better. Beautiful-looking cards side-by-side. Side. Definitely, uh, definitely not a bad card to get. I don't think we've gotten a lot of the uh, the all-star rookie cards. Three more packs. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I don't know if I already said it right, but no, second reminder's not going to hurt. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Try to get up to 100. That would be a fantastic goal to set for this year. We already got to 58, so let's see if we can get a little more. So we have Max Fried leaving off this pack. Oh, we have another blue sapphire card, so maybe that was saving something crazy at the end. Freddie Galvis. We have a 2020 World Series Game 5 of Clayton Kershaw pitching. Future Hall of Famer. Max Scherzer in action. I think we already had this card already. A Gar oh, we had an Aaron Judge. One of these little bubble, uh, baseball stars bubblegum things. So I don't know what these are for, but maybe it just looks like bubblegum when you blow it up. I don't know. But those are. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of the small things they put into packs, like the mini cards or like those. They just. They tend to get lost, and uh, they are, they get all over. So, and they're not not a huge fan, but I mean, some people might collect them. I don't, you don't know. Still, Aaron Judge not the worst name to get in the world. I know the Yankees aren't that hot right now, but we are in New York, so I mean, they're they're always pretty pretty uh, movable. We have Garrett Cole in action. Then we have Anthony Santander. Oh, that doesn't sound right, but oh well. We have a first, like, one of the only rookie cards on the side, it seems like. We have a William Contreras. So that's an awesome-looking card. And then we have Paul Goldschmidt and another blue parallel. See if we can get anything crazy. So we have a Dodger. So it could be a Clayton Kershaw, maybe, or uh, I don't know. Someone's crazy. So let's see. Let's see if we can guess it. Mickey Mookie. Uh, is that Cody Bellinger? So beautiful looking Cody Bellinger. I, I'm going Sapphire. Sa Sapphire card? Awesome. Awesome looking card. So we're getting some good name players. Definitely Cody Bellinger. Had him a little down year last year, but see, uh, we'll see if he can bounce back to his uh, former glory this year. But beautiful looking card. Fantastic. And we also got uh, William Contreras and Tyler Stevenson in that rookie card. So I'll make sure they go in the rookie pile, not the uh, base pile. Two packs left, and no auto and no patch. Let's see. Uh, might be in this last one. We don't know. So maybe. In, oh, it might be hard to open, so it might be in here. Oh, so that's a... Uh, I see no thick card, so maybe there's no patch. So it might be an auto. Let's see. We have a Ty Buttry. Did I pronounce his name? Jason Kipnis. We have a Trey Turner for the Nationals. Speedy, speedy guy. We have a Roberto Clemente. 
the one, the great one. So Roberto Clemente. I said maybe that Clemente. I got caught up in something. But beautiful looking card there. So I, I think it's the first one we've seen. So I don't know what the run is like for that. Maybe one per seven packs or one per box. I don't know. Then we have an Andre Andrelton Simmons. Sure. Evan White in action. I don't know anything about this guy, but I've seen him pull him pretty frequently uh, in our top Series 1 videos. So, kind of, you know, just, I don't know what I was going to say. It's kind of normal for him to show up, I guess. Then we have a Max Muncy for the Dodgers, Carson Kelly, and then a Tyson Miller and Jimmy Lambert NL, uh, NL and AL rookie cards. So, Beautiful looking card there. I do like the duel. I do like the duel. I know they're usually in heritage, uh, but I'm a fan of it than their single their single rookie cards. I think they look pretty sweet. So last pack is I I did not try to save um, this our auto or patch for the last pack. I know I usually try a little bit if I open it, but this was not on purpose. This is accidental. So hopefully we can get someone big. Save it for last. So there's nothing. It, I don't. Is there one relic per, per box, or was I just kind of conditioned to think there was? So we have no auto. I might have missed it. Did I miss it? I'll have to go back and take a look. But no auto, no relic. Is there not one guaranteed? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If, we'll see if it's in here or not. So we have a Brandon Crawford, Jesus Lazardo. We have a. Mikel Franco. We have a Brandon Lowe in action. Kyle Schwarber. So he would be like the next card, wouldn't he be? Bo Bichette in action. James McCann. Luis Robert. That would have been a cool one, Auto. And a Austin Riley. So no rookies there. No. Uh, did I miss an auto that I don't remember? Let me look at the box real quick. Um, yeah, let me see. All right, so I took a look. I guess we got a dud box. So usually you get some type of relic or uh, an auto, probably more like a relic, but it's doesn't it doesn't say per box, so it just says per pack. So I guess we just got a dud box. That's unfortunate, but... You know, we got some nice all-star uh, rookie caliber players. So I'd have to go through my top players, probably Casey Mize, Pache, uh, Joe Adele. Keep Brian Hayes is a big one. Really wanted to pull him. Uh, okay, another Casey Mize, Joey Bart. The and the, So probably those I would go with, you know, definitely. Uh, and the Kyle Lewis, I, I honestly think that's top five worthy. I really do. So definitely these are the cards, even though we just picked up the Pache over the weekend. And Key Brian Hayes is definitely a big one for me, but really cool cards. Um, I don't know. I wish we got auto kind of kind of let down, but you know it happens. Some you know the card gods giveth and the card gods taketh away, I suppose. But uh, thank you all for watching. This has been AZ Sports Cards, and I will see you all next time.